Okay, that brings us to the next name of Jesus, Last Adam. Yes, Last Adam. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We are talking about the names of Jesus Christ. And we've done this all last week and then this week. And the two weeks prior to that, we talked about the names of God. And there's so much and so, so important for us to understand these names. So let's take a look at Last Adam. The reference comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45. And so it is written, the last Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. I'm going to read that once again because so, this is so powerful. And so it is written, the last Adam, which is Jesus Christ, became a living being. So he was living. We could see him, touch him, feel him. It goes on. But also the last Adam became a life-giving spirit. Why? It's because he gave, gives us eternal life. Hallelujah. Okay, so the meaning of the, the name last Adam is Jesus is the father of a new human nature. I want you to get that. Jesus is the father of a new human nature. Prior to his death, burial, and resurrection, we had no access to the Father because of our sin. Because of what he did as the Lamb of God, he took away the sins of the earth and gave us access to God the Father. And then it says that those of us who are in him are a new creation. Old things have passed away, all things have become new. Well, if we're a new creation, then that means that he is a father of a new human nature. Whoo, glory to God. We're not driven by sin. We're driven by uh, the Spirit of God that lives within us. Insights into this name. The first Adam brought sin and death. Jesus is the last Adam bringing life. From him flows eternal life. Other related titles that go with this name is man, second man, son of man. Those come from Daniel chapter 7 verse 13 through 14. Mark chapter 9 verse 31. John chapter 19 verse 5. And 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5. Now again, look these scriptures up because these are the names of Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And you need to recognize and understand them because it gives you power and, and gives you authority over the enemy. The next name I'd like to look at is Light of the World. Light of the World. Comes from John chapter 8 and verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have light of life. Have light of life. So the meaning is that Jesus is the light. The insights into this name is that Jesus' radiance reveals God. Knowing Jesus is to know and to see what God is like. Those who follow him will not walk in darkness. Now, listen. The world walks in darkness because they don't know what truth is. Jesus tells us in John chapter 8, he says, If you uh, abide in me and abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You see, there he gives revelation to the word. That's who he is. Uh, and so Jesus and, and his spirit with, uh, within us gives us understanding lights the way, lets us know what truth really is all about. He is the light of the world and the light of men. The insights into this name is that Jesus, oh I already read this, yeah, so those that follow him will not walk in darkness. Related titles that go with this name, which is light of the world, is light, radiance of God's glory, comes from John chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 and Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. Okay, let's look at one more, Lion of Judah, Lion of the tribe of Judah. It comes from Genesis chapter 49, verse 9. And it says this, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, you have grown up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion, and as a lion who shall, who shall rouse him. Okay, you can also look at um, Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. And it says, But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Now, by the way, Judah means praise. So when we say this, we say lion of the tribe of praise. Praise. 
Jesus, the insights, uh, well, the meaning of the name is that Jesus is David's son. David's son uh, comes from David's line. And also the insights to this name is that Jesus fulfills the Old Testament prophecies being from the tribe of Judah and the lineage of David. Both tribe of Judah and the lineage of David. Related titles that go with this name is son of David. Um, comes from Matthew chapter 12 and verse 23. Once again, these names point out the, the, the power of what Christ did at Calvary. He was pro it was prophesied of him years and years ago that he would be from the line of David, but also that he would be from the tribe of Judah. And it all lined, it, lined up perfect. We know that this is the Messiah sent from God. I'm Keith Brown, and by the way, he is your Lord and Savior. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.